like this, and then you have like all the scenes with all your camera, and uh, some of them we, we, we have the graphics at the moment, some of them don't. Okay. And that's like complete, completely configurable in, in the editor mode. Okay. So the editor mode looks like, like this, and there you have like all the scenes with the, all, all your elements in them. Okay. Uh, and if you go back to the production environment, mm -hmm. uh, you can look here. So now I'm doing a transport and different camera to the event. Then we do a transition that's based, that's actually doing a spatial transform from one camera to the other. Okay. So you get it's kind of like the old morphing almost. Yeah. It kind of yeah. looks like, yeah. But, but it feels like you're, you're basically moving. It's moving, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. yeah. That's the transition from that camera to that one. Okay. And then we go down to the one. <laughs> Yeah. Front of us, and then yeah. we do the shot of the in front. <laughs> okay. So, so let me ask you a question. Then back to this one, which with the green screen and the yeah. camera system, doing everything necessary. So oh, okay. If you want to do presentations, yeah, I would really like recommend like having a virtual screen with the presenter's uh, slide. Mm -hmm. We found uh, that that works really well for like readability of all stuff right. on the screen because the, it's gonna get much sharper if you get the HDMI up from the from the from the computer directly yeah. than if you actually film the presentation. So let me tell you what yeah. what what I'm thinking about. So yeah. I'm thinking about a setup with one of these cameras. I just yeah. found out about them yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy they are crap! Really good. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, this one or the other one, the the bigger one with the with the bigger lenses. Yeah, that's one. Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking about, yeah. and then that would feed a uh, bunch of Teradek boxes, Teradek yeah, spheres. Yeah. Now, would your software work with that? Or like, how does how do you take input to this uh, right now? SDI, HDMI. STI or HDMI output? Yeah. Of the stitched, not stitched? Both. Oh, okay. We, we, we can bring uh, uh, on, right now we're bringing in uh, those uh, four HDMI and stitching okay. them. Yeah. Uh, those four over uh, will convert to SDI, SDI and uh, take in the SDI. Okay. Uh, those three cameras are SDI. Okay. okay. And this one we get. Uh, oh, the Uzo. Uh, okay. Stitched uh, with the air stitcher that's underneath here. Okay. Uh, uh, over SDI 4K. Okay. And. What kind of a beast do you need to be able to do this? I mean, what kind of computer is this? This thing, it's a... Like, do you need a special GPU or like tons of input cards, I assume? Like, you, you lots need of... tons of input cards. Yeah. Uh, like, the GPU we have is a GTX 1080. 1080, okay. We recently lowered the price of that one, so it's not yeah. that expensive anymore. No, I mean, the, yeah, the, I mean, at this yeah. level, the price yeah. really doesn't... Yeah. Yeah. You know, for the GPU, it's like yeah, yeah. whatever. That's like <laughs> that's like the cheapest part. Yeah. Of, uh, of you know, if you're buying a forty thousand dollar camera. Yeah. Yeah. You know, thousand yeah. dollar GPU, two thousand dollar GPU is not that really. Yeah. So, so so tons of Black Magic, I assume, yes, or yes. Yeah, we, we, Black Magic. We, we have best integration with Black Magic, so I would recommend them a, okay. uh, a lot. Uh, we. We have recently found out that there's a matrix card with two 4K inputs, yeah. okay. and we really want to integrate with that, but we haven't done it yet. Okay. Uh, so oh, well, maybe I can put you in contact with Matrox. Matrox, is, we're, we're pretty good, uh, you nice. know, buddies. Nice. Yeah, yeah, with Matrox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're a Canadian company as well, yeah, so yeah. Nice. we've been working with them for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So in terms of uh, live production, yeah. you showed me all the switching stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? So going back to what I was talking about. I'm thinking a bunch of cameras, yeah. uh, bring them in different scenes, yeah. but our scoreboard software, so we have a full basically uh, production facility yeah. Yeah, yeah. at the, I don't know if you know the Maple Leaf Gardens, uh, it's like one of the original hockey cathedrals. No, not really. Okay. Uh, I'm from Sweden, so I... Oh, okay. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't track hockey um, in Canada. So, the, it's one of the main yeah. arenas, yeah. and we've taken over the operations of it. Yeah. Um, so, there's a full production what do you call it? control room there yeah, yeah, yeah. and the scoreboard actually produces uh, an SDI output yeah, yeah. so I can basically take that and uh, stick it over here yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is it uh, with the, like a key in the filler here? yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we don't support that now it's something okay. we, we are looking at integrating soon okay uh, right now what if I feed that into another machine do, do the proper uh, thing to generate the graphic and then just feed the, feed the video into this. Would that be possible? We, we, I don't think we can handle the transparency of that yet. Not, tra not the transparency, no, no, no. Just oh, if, as, if, a, as a window. If it's opaque, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Then it works perfectly. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And in so, so th this part is... Yeah. Uh, 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 so, it's, it's, yeah, where's the cat? It's, it's, it's from a file and it's a green screen. Okay. So, if, if you want to have a, uh, alpha in, in, in your feed, uh, 
we do it this is like a 2d video yeah uh, same as this one we were gonna move on uh, and so the, the way to do also now is uh, adding green okay uh, all right we will support you feel future uh, don't know what okay no, no, that's not a big deal okay uh in terms of uh things like i'll use old concepts like yeah, yeah. lower third and yeah, things yeah. like that yeah how do you do that? Like, how do you do? You have a character generator, or do you take a feed out from an, a character generator? We uh, the like the a, thing having I, a graphic library, yeah, yeah, for yeah. example. Yeah, the thing right? I have here is a HTML library based actually. Okay. So we, we don't really know exactly what we should support when it comes to graphics. So the okay. things we have today is like images, like rectangular images, mm -hmm. uh, web pages, and uh, videos, and like rectangular videos. So when you say web pages, uh, is that like uh, like what engine do you use to load it? Is that Chrome? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So whatever is compatible with Chrome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And that's how you so also you bring in external video as well. Yeah. No, no. Uh, you can well, actually. Yeah. You, you can load YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works. Yeah. But, but uh, no, but I'm I'm saying like if I want to bring a different stream, like let's just say yeah. you know I've got uh, I don't know six uh, static cameras. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're you, streaming you, to a Wasa server, you, and I want to bring uh, a source in kind of thing. Uh, we, we can support the or, uh, RTM pimples as well. Okay. Uh, on, on, yeah. On that. Yeah. yeah. So, or I can stick it on a page using like MPEG dash or something. Yeah. And just load the page. Yeah. Right. Okay. That should work. Okay. And one final question. Uh, I heard the price. Audio for that is going to be a problem, hmm. though. Uh, uh, over. Well, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, I'm just talking video. Yeah, yeah. Right. If I want to do like a replay or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that kind of stuff. Okay. 